Now, another reality, <coughs> excuse me, is that the future is going to have more rapid changes in the job market. Um, my uncle, when he lost his job in RJR, got a job out in California. It was a great job. I think he stayed out with Western Electric for 15 years. He called my dad, and he says, they're going to fire me. They told me I have six months, and my job is going to be obsolete. Luckily, he was able to retire. But my uncle's job was to install and repair these. Market shifts. Like our kids are going to have to be ready for that. They need to be critical thinkers. They need to be learners because they might have to change employment very quickly. My um, nephew graduated from North Carolina A&T, went to his first job interview, filled out his first job application, and on it, it requested his text speed. Do you know your text speed? <laughs> He's in sales. Think about it. Next is going to be, you know, one-hand text speed. His brother is a freshman at Harvard, and he's kind of techy, and he believes that the machines might take over. So we have these long philosophical uh, conversations, and he's asking me all the time, start looking at where machines have replaced people. So it's this little ongoing conversation we've been having. So when I went to visit him, I started to notice. I went to Enterprise over here. That kiosk served three people while the human served one. Just a thought. Uh, when I landed in Ri Richmond, the booth that normally housed a person was empty. And I was asked to put my credit card in this machine. Just a thought. So where might the jobs be? Maybe in STEM, technology, just a thought. The person who um, develops the specs for this machine and the software, the person who can repair it when it's broken, that person's employed. The person who takes your credit card and says hello and goodbye is not there anymore. Job markets shift as cab drivers. Cab drivers in New York will tell you that they lost 50% of their revenue in 30 days. 30 days. Now, I remember a time where cab drivers wouldn't pick me up in New York. They're picking me up now. <laughs> I got options, right? That's a big deal. We have to think about it. We as educators, now this is going to blow your mind because you want your teachers to start thinking this way. We need to start thinking about this because our market has changed. It has. If educator, education is a project, product, why should families buy it from us? Think about that. 